Hi, and welcome to an a EasyIO video. In this video, I will be showcasing you on how to resolve a, a failed to answer, uh, unsubscribed memory error uh, that you may be getting on certain points um, on BACnet. Um, typically, this would mean that you have exceeded the point limit um, of your device uh, on how many you can subscribe to. Uh, for the DFS, that would be 32 per device um, and I will showcase on how to uh, solve that um, by still utilizing those points and bypassing the point limit. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so I already set up a BACnet uh, network, a client network uh, by uh, adding the service object and inside um, the client network. So I will go on and open that. I have made a FW to be a server. It's, um, yeah, it's got 34 points actually that I have enabled and I will now um, show you uh, by first subscribing to 32 points um, where everything will work and then I will add two more um, which will then um, prompt you with the error. So there's my FW. I will go on and subscribe to that. And I will go and discover my points. And I've got 16. I'm going to subscribe to 16 AV points from the 17. And I will do another 16 BV points, making it 32 points. And as you can see, I am skipping both object IDs 17 for both AV and BV for future use. So I will now subscribe. I have now subscribed to 32 points. So let's go to the device. You will go to your navigation tree, uh, open it and double click the device. Um, CPT always typically um, stores them on top of each other. So you want to click this button right here to arrange your objects, which can be vertical or horizontal. I, in this case, don't care in which order. So I'm just gonna go and click it and then we'll wait. And here we are nice and well. So all of these points would say it's, they are okay. Um, None of them have an error. Okay, so I have now at my limit of, for my BACnet device on the FS. And um, just a little side note, what we consider a device and where the limit sits is actually this object. So this is the, obviously the FW that we have discovered, being then the, the device and inside here is the limit of 32 points. And I will show you now what happens if you add more. So we're gonna go back to my client network, going to get again, discover the points of my FW, and I will now add 17 into the mix. So these are two extra points. I'm going to go and hit subscribe, and I will go back to my device and here they are I will now drag them a little bit to a clear space and I'll go and zoom in a little bit um, and maybe here you can see it better fail to load share memory on both points that is because these are 30 33 and 34 so meaning they are now have reached the limit. Now, you can still utilize these points if you have a BACnet device and you need more than 32 points from it. This does not stop you from, from doing so. However, you cannot do it in the same space as these points. So there's a couple of ways you can bypass that and still use the same device. Now, you can, let's first start with showing you the manual way, okay? Um, this 
In this method, you cannot um, use the discover method. So you still need to have the object IDs in your head and which ones you're missing. Um, you can add them manually. Um, or in this case, you can um, also just drag and drop, which is the same method, uh, these two points into a fresh uh, uh, bugnet device. So let's showcase on how to do that. So you're going to go to your client network. I'm going to go and double click. Now, right on top here, we have a button that will show you the wire sheet view of things. So you're going to go and click that. And now you have wire sheet view. We're going to our, uh, our kit library and we're going to find a bugnet client device. And we're going to drop it right in here. Now, everything is sit, still sits in error mode, that's fine. What we'll be doing is first, we're going to um, add the same device ID the uh, top one has, which is 14. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I will enable it and I will wait until it reads the device ID. And as you can see now, it has the same IP slash MAC address as the top one. Now, I will um, showcase both. So I will just go and drag and drop these two points inside here. just like this. I want these two points and I want them there. Now let's go to the device and look at the points. Now they are okay. So now you have utilized these two points and they are still the same device. However, this has been done manually and as I just said earlier, you cannot discover these. So if I want more, we simply um, select the Bugnet client objects. Uh, they have to be clients uh, because obviously you are in the client network, it's a client device. So we have made it easy on you. Everything that has the client word in there, these are the objects you can use. And obviously not the server one because then um, it will be looking for a server, which is not. No, I want, I want another one. So let's go on and and another um, AV point, the client AV point, um, I believe it's 18. So I'm gonna go and type in 18, say it's true. So it's gonna go and look for that and look at that. It's already gonna go and read the point name and log value 18, all right? And et cetera, et cetera, until you again read 32 points and then the same trick has to be applied. Now, um, this is obviously manual. If you do not know the object ID or you simply want to um, continue using the, the discover method, now that is possible. However, um, so let's, um, let's start a little bit back. So let's say you have now finished 32 points and you want to continue adding the rest using the discover method you want to remove, um, you, you want to only have one, one client uh, inside. So this one is full and I, you need to make a library of this. Okay, so we're gonna go and do that. So um, just a little side note and why, am I, uh, why I will be doing this, uh, just, just to showcase. If I go to back to my client view, as you can see, it only sees one one device because they're similar. It's all device ID 14 and it will use the first one, right? See, this one is the full one, the other one he doesn't see, right? Although it works. So you want to now continue with this one using the discovery method. So we will be creating a library of this. I will store it in my default category. I'm going to name it test bugnet. I'm going to hit 
enter. Now I will disable this and I will simply remove it and I will go back to my view. And as you can see, now it has the other three points. So I can hit discover and continue. So I want, I don't know, 19 and 00. zero. Subscribe to that, etc., etc., until you're done. So it's fun at these in the mix as well. And let's go inside. And here you are. We have now used the discover method adding more points to this botnet device. Now, let's say I'm finished, I've got all my points and I want the other device to be back. So you're just simply gonna go back to the client network, wire sheet view, look for your user libs. I stored them in the default category, named it test botnet. And I will simply drag it in now. Because we do not want it to communicate instantly, we are not um, making a, a we, we are not storing your device ID. So you simply put in 14 again. Now it's going to go and look for that. And now it's okay. Now I've got all my points ready to go. All right, so. I do have to make a note. It will now continue with device two uh, because that is now, in uh, CPT's case, the first one, right? So this is uh, the way of bypassing point limits. This is how you can solve um, your unshared memory errors. And uh, hopefully um, this, will, uh, uh, this will help you in your endeavor. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask support and uh, yeah. See you on the next video.